Lab Zero has been going in lately, and it's impressive because a company like that, which is being so upfront about their Indiegogo campaign, telling exactly how much money they need, they're not, they're not holding anything back with the details, and they're being as transparent as possible. If you don't know what I'm referencing, it is Indivisible, which is a game being done by the same developers of Lab Zero, and we have a report today, or some kind of rumor going around, not really a rumor, it's pretty much confirmed, that they're going to feature Shovel Knight in that bitch. I know a lot of you got a fetish for that guy in blue armor, so I figured that we would talk about this today because I'm extremely excited about the Indivisible project, even though it doesn't look good for it right now. You guys might remember that I even covered this game myself, playing it on my channel a few weeks back, and I think got like 30,000 views, a really popular, a really a good amount of views there. And I'm, I'm just wondering if this game is going to reach its funding goal, because it was a pretty steep one. It was $1.5 million, and right now, they got nine days left, sitting at 666000 That's looking like my Twitter account right now. And, well, actually, they're pretty damn close to 666-666. God damn, I feel like donating uh, $46 right now just to do so if I had the cash. But, I mean, still, I'm super excited about this potential collaboration. Now, this all stems from Twitter. These companies, Yacht, um, Yacht Club Games and Lab Zero, they were talking, surprisingly, and I saw this on my own feed because I follow them both. And, um... Yo, it, it, it's kind of a shocker to see that these companies were working together to bring characters like that together. But you know, indie developers, they got they got to stick together in a sense. So if we go to Indivisible's Twitter page, obviously there's a lot of excitement going along, going around right now. They just had a Reddit AMA. These guys have been featured on, um, on uh, the Jim Sterling channel. They've been featured on uh, Game Grumps, a ton of other channels as well too. Um, and you know, it, it's pretty cool. I'm just surprised that they haven't reached that funding goal yet. It is steep, I know, but they, they trust me, they've justified it a million times over, and I've seen the explanations, and it makes sense to me. A lot of these companies that do games on Indiegogo and Kickstarter beforehand, they usually get a huge bulk of their funding from publishers before they even do the campaign. So when they ask for a campaign goal of like $50,000, in reality, that's not how much it takes to create the game. They're just doing that to gauge hype for their online presence to kind of make a, a big ruckus about the game. But in reality, it doesn't take $50,000 to make a game nowadays. It usually takes a whole lot more. Hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars, man. And they need altogether, I think, $3.5 million. And um, the company that they're with, they said that, hey, we'll pay you guys, the publisher they're with, they said, we'll pay you guys $2 million if you can get uh, the $1.5 million from crowdfunding. So if you raise that $1.5, we'll give you an extra two. So that would be $3.5 million. And they're really being super transparent with it. Their publisher is, you know, decidingly letting them be as transparent as they need to with this project. There's a whole lot of hype behind it. And, you know, I don't want to fucking just push them in your face. Like, you know, guys, like, go, go fucking support them. Go support them. But this project is fucking amazing. Have you seen the gameplay, the characters, the artwork, the story, the layout, the combat system? It is one of the most incredible RPG experiences I've ever engaged in in, in this entire year. Uh, possibly even my entire life. Um, I know that sounds a little bit quick and shallow to say, but I'm being so honest with you. You have to try out the fucking prototype. That's another thing. These guys are so transparent that they've even able to throw together a quick prototype to showcase how the game would play, which you can download off of their Indiegogo page. And now they confirm that Shovel Knight will be making an appearance. So here in, here's Indivisible's rendition of Shovel Knight. I didn't even get to see this yet. This is new to me. They were just talking to... Um, they, like, they were, I was going to show you guys a couple of the tweets of Yacht Club and um, Indivisible, or Lab Zero rather, talking to each other. And Yacht Club's like, so uh, when are you going to send us those uh, mock-ups for Shovel Knight? And, and then Indivisible's like, yeah, we got them coming up soon. And everyone was like, what? Shovel Knight and Indivisible? But it's a great move because this blue bastard is super popular right now. Do you guys know, like the ballot that I ran, this nigga came in second place. Or he was taking first place for a while. And I'm sure after the hacker hit the ballot up, maybe he switched the votes up or fuck with him. But Shovel Knight is incredibly popular. He's probably going to win the Smash ballot. I mean, I know, that's saying a lot, and there's a whole lot of you that don't want to see that happen. But his popularity cannot be ignored. His girth is incredible. So for him, them to pair together these two characters is such a smart, last-minute move, man. So when people that support Shovel Knight see that he's going to be an indivisible, vice versa, it'll be amazing. And plus... If you don't have a PC that can run a game too well, the Indivisible prototype is now also available for the PS4. So, as you can see, United States PS4. I'm not sure if that means other regions are going to be getting it soon, but the Indivisible prototype is on PS4. So, if you got a motherfucking, if you got a fucking, if you got a fucking, 
you got a fucking PS4, then you gotta fucking download the prototype, play that shit, come back to this video, let me know what you think about that game. And if you have it within you to be able to donate something to these guys, then definitely do so. I mean, I gave them a little contribution, whatever the hell I could. Um, there's, there's ways to support them in different ways besides just giving them money too, you know, get the word out there. I really want to see this game happen. They didn't pay me for this or anything like that, but Shovel Knight's gonna be in fucking Indivisible, and I'm just hoping that that'll stir some kind of momentum in people to kind of get moving with this whole thing. I know there's people out there that probably do have the money that are looking at the campaign and wondering, you know, I don't want, I don't know if this is a great investment because I'm not sure if people are going to be interested in this long term or, you know, it could just drop out later on. But trust me, there, there, there's so much to love about this game. The prototype is one of the best playing experiences I've had with RPGs in recent time. You got to give them a look. These guys are going to blow your fucking mind. But um, anyways, for those of you who are excited about the Shantae... Oh, excuse me, Shantae. There's so many third parties in my head right now. But um, those of you who are excited about the whole Indivisible campaign, what do you think about this yourself, man? I, I would love to see opinions on it. I, I love it, personally. The character design um, is so different and unique. And I know they probably revealed a new character besides um, Shovel Knight. In fact, let me retweet this right now. I just, like, like I said, this literally just happened two hours ago i was sleeping as you can tell by the big ass bags under my eyes but um uh let me see did they reveal a new character because usually what they do is every time they reach a certain donation or rather a certain funding um checkpoint i think it was uh fifty thousand every fifty thousand then they reveal a new character a new playable character in the game the final game they revealed a couple of these guys as well too man so you got this guy george um He's like a dragon slayer or some sh crazy shit like that. Um, they have this girl. Her name is what? Toko? They, they have so many interesting characters with diverse backgrounds, different ethnical influences. Um, and the whole thing just has a real nice, um, what is it, uh, Southeast Asia feel, you know? I I'm loving it so much. It's such a great game. It, it kind of takes influence from a lot of Asian cultures, too. It's awesome all around, and plus the protagonist is pretty damn cute too. So all these things come together with awesome gameplay to make this game stunning. Like I said, you know, it's the same guys that did Skullgirls, Lab Zero games. They ain't no slouchers when it comes to putting their games out, man. Um, I hope you guys have it in you to support them, share their stuff around, or potentially even help fund them. That would be crazy. But um, anyways, guys, let me know what you think about all this stuff in the comments. Shovel Knight in Indivisible. Are you excited about the game now? If you didn't check the game out before but you're checking it out now thanks to shovel knight in being included in the game and yacht zero and um lab zero excuse me yacht club and yacht and lab zero working together are you excited about that collaboration now is that going to make you interested in the game i would definitely love to see what people think is the partnership going to get more attention for the game or not probably will so what do you think i'll talk to you guys in the next video take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one i'm gonna go put this back on the stand